And Chef Mark. So what are we making today? Sichuan Dan Dan noodles, is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah, I stole the recipe off Dan and it's so good we named it twice. Nice, okay, good. <laughs> uh, so what do we need for it? Ingredients look pretty right. intense. So yeah, we, so we've got lots of beautiful ingredients, very sort of uh, Asian characteristics. We've mm. got, but the whole thing is, it's from the Sichuan province, uh, right. province in um, China and these are these Sichuan um, chili um, peppercorns. Right. And if you smell them, well, you can sort of smell it a bit, but once we cook Ooh, them and yeah. crush them, you get this beautiful um, sort of tingly, it's not so much spicy, but it's sort of a tingly, numbing feeling in there. It's really good, but that's yes. sort of the characteristics. Um, very spicy, we're gonna make our own chili oil as well, and a really quick sort of stir fry with noodles and um, pork pack full of flavor. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. It is gonna be fantastic, it always is. You've outdone yourself today. I'm quite excited to try this. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, what's first up to get the Sichuan, 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 Sichuan. Sichuan. Spicy noodles. Thank we'll you, spicy it. noodles. No, Sichuan Dan Dan noodles. A recipe you've stolen from your mate Dan. Yep. Which is great. Right, so we're going to make the chili oil. Okay, right, so, th so this is going to give us lots of flavour and, and uh, lots of spiciness as well. So, you know, you can buy these in the supermarkets if you don't want to make it, you right. know, that, that's good. But it's great fun to make it yourself and you can make a big batch of it and, you know, it will stay there. You know, put it nice. in a jar, put it in the back of the fridge and you can always use it, you know, put it on anything, you know, just make everything spicy. Right, OK, well, I'm not really a huge fan of the chilli, but... <laughs> you will be today. Yeah, I'll give, it, I'll give it a go, that's for sure. Right, so basically I've got some uh, ginger, garlic, some spring onions. Yes. Um, I've got some oil. Mm -hmm. Uh, just warming up here. See how much so, so what, like a cup? Well, about half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup. I mean, you can, as I said, you know, you can you can make a big pot of this. And yeah. I'm just going to put that in from the uh, start. So as it's warming up, it's going to start colouring. What's the best type of oil to use apart from what we're using? Alpha. Oh yeah, just today, just a, just you know, like a, a non um, sort of flavoured oil. So it's okay, perfect. Cool. The rice yep. brown oil is great. So you know, Excellent. it's going to get all the flavour into there without sort of contrasting or taking away from the um, the spices. Brilliant. Um, Szechuan peppercorns. Yes. We talked about before. So really sort of um, unique flavour on these and, and sort of numbingness yeah, as well. Yeah, very aromatic too, especially when yeah, you very start aromatic. grinding them. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to sort of crush them, just release the seeds in the in the bottom and this is going to help flavour it. I've also got some chilli flakes and some star anise. Alright, so we just want to sort of keep this over a medium heat now. Okay, you can see cool. it's sort of bobbling around. Yep. You don't want to get it too hot because it is oil and it's going to start frying it. We are looking for a little bit of colour, okay. but not, um, not a blackened okay, burnt cool. colour. I'll just turn that down a little bit then. <laughs> yeah. If you want anything blackened, you've come to the right place. <laughs> They are, so it's got this little sizzle going on, like the yeah, flying, is that yeah, right? Yes, yeah, so that's what you want, the sizzle, you know, so that's okay, going to bring cool. out all the flavour. I've got a little bit of star anise going in there as well. And then we're just going to get a little bit of colour on that first, and then we're going to start adding the chilies as well, and we're going to fry the chilies. Okay? Nice. Brilliant. Well, I've got a little bit of water on there as well. Yep. And we're just going to cook some of these egg noodles. So cool. just out of the packet, you know, just cook them, whatever it says on the uh, instructions. Or you can buy those, you know, pre-made ones. Just warm them up before we use it. Nice. So basically, we're going to make the oil, which you can already have made. We're going to cook the noodles ahead of time. And then obviously when we come back, we're going to start making the, uh, the, the essence of the noodles. We've got pork mince here. We've got a bit more chilli going in there, some um, peanut butter as well. Yum. Yeah, so it's got all these flavours sort of marrying together. And then you're going to finish it with this oil as well. So you can make it as spicy or as weak as you want to. Nice. Anything you need me to do, Chef? Uh, just just stand there and look pretty. OK, cool. All right, so Szechuan peppercorns, they're going to go in now. Yeah. So a fair few in there. So, yeah. you know, you only need a little bit of this and some chilli flakes. And then Woo. just control that heat again. That's going to have just, a kick to it. Yeah, and you just want to sort of toast it. But then all these flavours are going to leach in the oil. You know, we are going to cook it so they will soften. So you can actually oh. leave all that in the oil so you get a bit of texture or you can strain it out if you want. You know, yeah. it's entirely up to you. I can smell it, eh? Yeah, you that's can, incredible. You can, yeah, you can start smelling that sort of Szechuan. It's very aromatic. Yeah, and you sort of just control that heat and then cook it and really mm. get that um, heat to bring out all the flavours. And then we've got some little spices here. We've got a little bit of cinnamon as well yep. and some ground coriander, which we're just going to add in a little bit later. Okay, nice. And just cook those out. And of course, we get the recipe easy for you to follow at thecafe.co.nz. We'll come back though and we'll get the rest of this Dan Dan sauce prepared for these noodles and everything else that's going on here. Smells incredible. So things are smelling incredible here. Is that your mixture finished? Yeah, so the, here's our oil. So if you have a look at it there, you can see it's nice and toasted. You know, we've mm. got it quite dark without burning it, but all that flavour is just going to seep into that oil. And you can see it's even changed 
well, it's a dark pan, but you know, you, you're going to have some uh, beautiful oh. colour from that as well. But heaps and heaps of flavour yeah, in that. That's amazing. Look well, at that. Well, right. Okay, so our noodles are ready. We're just going to yeah. rest them over here. Yeah, yeah, so the noodles are ready to go. Right, I've got some pork mince. So this has been out of the fridge for about 20 minutes before you use it, so it becomes nice and soft. I've got a little bit of soy sauce just to season it lightly and some sesame oil, get some flavour into there. And then I've got the wok on on the corner. Yep. Uh, so, it's, so it's been on as well, so it's nice and hot. Nice. So you can pop a bit of oil into there. Yep, cool. Uh, and then I'm going to get you to start frying um, the pork mince. Okay, so nice. as you're frying it, we want to start getting a bit of colour on there. You want to be breaking it down so it's, you know, it's sort of little pieces. So that's for you. Okay, so the reason we took it out and put it at room temperature was to soften it. Yeah, to just to soften help it. Mix and cook. Yeah, it will help um, get those uh, soy and um, sesame oil into that. Right. And then it will just gonna it's just gonna be easier to cook and break up uh, okay. nice and evenly there. Right. So that's on there. In here, we've got some chopped garlic some ginger and some chilli and we're going to make the base of the sauce. So we've got some peanuts and um, peanut butter. So that's going to go in. I'm just going to work all those ingredients together. Got a touch of sugar, which we can always add a little bit more later. And we've got another chilli paste, which we're putting in there. Nice. So that's going to be the base of it. So you can see this running theme going through these noodles. Chili. Chili. <laughs> Which I is bet good. it's got a good kick too. Did you taste your mixture before? Yeah, I just tried this in uh, just in the break and <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's spicy. That's good. Uh, heaps of people love it. Really spicy, yeah, but, but it's guess, good. But it's and you get to control it. When you yeah, make exactly. It. You, you get to control it, so that's really good. Right. So here's our paste. You can see we're frying this. We're stirring as well over a high heat, so we're sort of evenly cooking it. it smells great too. Pork it smells incredible. Yeah, and it's, and it's great. Pork's, pork's a great um, meat to cook in Chinese cookery. You know, it's really healthy. It's sort of, you know, it's a good price as well at the supermarket, but you can yeah. get lots of flavour into it as well. I've just got a little bit of bok choy, which, you know, just before the noodles are cooked, I'm going to pop them in there just to save on pans and washing up because we like that. And then that's just literally going to be in there for about a minute. We can strain it all together and then we're going to throw it through our sauce base. Nice. And speaking of that sauce base, if you make it too hot and you serve it, you're like, oh, it's a bit too hot. Can you calm it down a little once you've already done it? <laughs> yeah. And um, have a glass of milk. <laughs> right. If you put a little bit of sugar in as well, that does help. You okay, know? cool. If, if you add some sweetness, it will knock it down slightly. But um, if you've made it too spicy, it's a little bit hard as well. Right, so this is the Szechuan. Yeah, so I've got some more Szechuan pepper, which we've just grounded. That's going to go in with the pork. Got some Chinese uh, cooking wine just to deglaze the pork with there. Nice. And I'm going to put a bit of uh, chicken stock in as well. I'm going to bring that to the boil mm -hmm. and then we're going to put our paste in there. So that's all going to go in here. I'm going to mix all that through and then we're going to cook it for about sort of 10 15 minutes just on a light simmer. We want lots of. Um, stir it? Uh, yeah, stir yeah. it, mix it all in, check the seasoning, but we want lots of extra um, juice in there as well, you know? Okay, so it's cool. a little bit of a soup. Drain the noodles. Uh, make sure they're all well drained. We're going to pop them on and then just serve it up. It's really simple. And then last minute, you can just drizzle some of this oil over the top, depending on how spicy you want it. This looks fantastic. R nice, vibrant colours, and we're going to offset this colour with that vibrant green. What's that bok choy, did you say? Yeah, just a bit of bok choy. In your noodles. Okay, Beautiful. great. It's all coming together. It is, and it is smelling incredible. I'm really excited. Um, so, Dan, I hope we'll be very proud of you stealing this recipe and <laughs> yeah, using so, it. Yeah. yeah, Dan, Dan, thank you very much. Mark, this is smelling incredible from the Beko kitchen to our table. The Sichuan Dan Dan noodles. You happy? <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs>